Yeah, some of the area's typical problem spots for flooding are even worse in worse shape than normal, especially some of the neighborhoods in Norfolk like Larchmont. As for 13 News Now reporter Matt Gregory is live tonight. Hey, so we're right here along uh, Hampton Boulevard. I want to show you this because as the tides receding, you can see just how far up it came. This along here, this debris line where you have the pine needles, you have some leaves. This is as high up as high tide came today, and that covered most of this roadway here, Hampton Boulevard. And as you can see, it still has police have blocked off this side of, the, of Hampton Boulevard, but that was only within the last half hour or so. Earlier, there were actually people in the neighborhood out here trying to direct traffic because it got pretty chaotic. You can see if we go over here, Jesse, people are still coming up to it. They just now put out cones. But as people were trying to, you know, put their pedal down and go right through the rushing or the higher tide, they were almost hitting other cars. So this has finally been uh, picked up by Norfolk Police. They've been able to uh, deal with that. But I want to show you some video from earlier because we were also in Ocean View. Now, when we were in Ocean View, some of the stuff we saw there, it was as the tide was turning over to high tide. And uh, you could actually see the water within like 15 minute increments coming up further, going into people's homes. Some people tried to actually get through uh, that uh, higher amount of water there. And, had not a great uh, degree of success doing that. It's also not very smart. I think we point this out all the time when it comes to these storms. Don't drive through that water. It's not only salty, can ruin the inside of your car. You could stall out. There's all sorts of things going on. Same thing for children swimming in it. Not a good idea. There's oil, there's bacteria. It's not a great idea, but that was the worst of what we saw in Ocean View. Around four o'clock as high tide came up, it was covering uh, up to Pleasant Avenue and beyond. Just a, 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 an, un, an unusual flooding situation. We usually see that sort of thing in Norfolk with the higher tides, but when you have that added uh, wind and you have the added rain and all of that, it just really turned into a, a quagmire over there. But uh, when we talked to Norfolk officials, it wasn't as bad as uh, they were anticipating for initially. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what some of the reports we were getting in. But for now in Larchmont, I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you. All right, well, Matt, we know that there are those two areas, Ocean View and Larchmont, they flood a lot. So for the people who live in those communities, how did they rate this particular storm? Interestingly enough, we saw a lot of people in Ocean View. When we talked to them, they were like, well, this isn't nearly as bad as in the name a hurricane or a, a nor'easter they'd seen in the past. Most of them, the, the ones who seem to... Uh, come out as it was kind of abating the storm was they were coming out later on. They said they've been inside just watching TV, staying in high ground. Same thing here. As soon as it stopped raining, people rushed out to the street to kind of take a look and see everything. We got mm -hmm. reports of people kayaking down there trying to enjoy it. But at the same time, it's just a very difficult situation. Yeah, very difficult situation. Good report. Thank you.